relative, major, and minor. Here's a C major scale. Here's an A minor scale. The C major scale is made up of C, D, E, F, G, A, and B, and then it starts over again at C. The A minor scale is made up of those same notes, it just begins on A instead of C. Here's a B flat major scale. B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G, A, and B flat. And a G minor scale. G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, and G. The G minor scale is made up of the same notes as the B flat major scale. It just begins on G. Check out the C major scale again. The sixth note of the C major scale, or the sixth scale degree, is A. And the sixth scale degree of the B flat major scale is G. And here's where we get into the concept of relative major and minor. Take any major scale and build a new scale from the sixth scale degree using the same notes, and you will be playing the relative minor of that major scale. It works the other way too. Notice that the third scale degree of A minor is C, and the third scale degree of G minor is B flat. So if you want to find the relative minor of a major scale, go to the sixth scale degree of that major scale. And if you want to find the relative major of a minor scale, go to the third scale degree of that minor scale. Once you understand the concept of relative major and minor, it gets a lot easier to learn scales. If you already know how to play major scales, you're well on your way to learning how to play natural minor scales because you're gonna play the same scale forms, you just start on a different note. So check out these videos if you wanna get started learning major and minor scales. And for more guitar lessons, music theory, and solo guitar arrangements, please subscribe.